Hey guys, literally no good reason for this video, but I just met the smoothest talker I have ever met in my whole life. I've never seen anything like this. This guy was amazing. So I was shopping at Aldi's, just getting a couple groceries. Yeah, all in my like sweaty gym clothes. You know, I, I probably wouldn't go to Wegmans or any other grocery store, all sweaty and like gym clothes, but uh, I felt like Aldi's, you can make an exception. Anyway, so I pack all my groceries in my car, I'm all done. This guy comes up to my window and like knocks on it. And I'm thinking like, damn, is this guy homeless or something? Is he gonna ask me for money? So I roll my window down like yay much, you know, like an inch. And I, I open him and I said, what, do you need a quarter for the cart? Here you go, because at Aldi's you need a quarter to get the shopping carts. And he's like, no, 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 it's not that. It's that my, uh, my cousin thinks you're cute. And I'm like, okay, interesting. I wonder who your cousin is. And so he's, you know, just chatting with me. The window's still cracked just a little tiny bit and it's not even phasing him. So I'm like, all right, this is weird, but whatever, he's a friendly guy. And I don't know what his cousin looks like, so I don't know. So anyways, we <laughs> were talking for a little bit and I'm like, oh, okay, and so who are you? And he's like, oh, I'm just the gay cousin. I'm like, okay, this is starting to get interesting. But anyway, so we're talking about it. Her name's like Alexandra or something. I don't know. Anyway, so we get to talking for a little bit. Either way, I'm trying to get this conversation moving along so I can get out of there because I want to go home and eat. I got stuff to do. And so finally, I like put my car in, you know, in drive and he can tell that the car's about to move. And so I roll my window down just a little bit, fist bump him because he's a nice guy. I don't think he's going to jump in my car or do anything crazy. And so like I fist bump him and I'm like, all right, dude, I got to go. And he's like, oh yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, just real quick, you think we can give you five bucks to give you a ride to Butternut? And I'm like, Butternut's a street here in Syracuse. And I'm like, man, so did he just come up with that all, you know, all by himself all of a sudden? Or was this his plan all along to try to get like a $5 ride or better yet to get in my car to do whatever the hell he wants to do? I don't know. The point is, you know, when you're growing up, they tell you not to talk to strangers. Some strangers are freaking smooth, man. Like you think, you know, you're on guard a little bit, you roll your window down barely. And then you're thinking like, okay, this guy's friendly. You're opening up a little bit. And then you open up a little more and you literally like open the window up a little bit. You know, you're opening yourself to this person. And then when they think that they got you or they think you're leaving, whatever, so they just throw a Hail Mary, they finally, you know, try to ask or try to get what they want from you. Like, man, people are fucking sketchy. Have a good weekend.